All right, check this out. What I got right here is the Asus Zephyrus G14 gaming laptop. Now, this gaming laptop is a fantastic gaming laptop, but it does not have enough RAM, for me that is. This comes with standard 16 GBs of RAM, sodium DDR5, 4800 megahertz, and it's soldered in. But it have one slot available where you can, where you can put additional RAM onto this bad boy right here. And in that slot, you can only add up to 32 GBs of RAM with the sodium DDR5 4800 megahertz. So with a combination, you can have a total of 48 GBs of RAM. This one in particular comes with a Ryzen 9 with the NVIDIA GeForce 4060. So I'm gonna add this RAM right here onto it. This one is a Samsung 32 gigabyte of RAM. This one is a dual rank RAM. Or you can tell with a dual rank, well, Samsung make it very simple. If you look closely, when they say 32 GBs, beside it, they say 2R8. So with the 2, with the R, the R means rank and the 2 means dual. So this is how you know this is a dual rank RAM. And it should be pretty good. And to replace it on this laptop is very simple. I already take the screws off, and it comes with 11 screws. Four on the bottom, four on the top, and three in the middle. That is very easy. All you gotta do is go into the corner, pop it open, and just like that. You gotta make sure that first you pour this laptop off. Make sure that this, uh, make sure that it's not on at all. <laughs> you can disconnect the battery if you want, or you don't have to. But for me, I like to disconnect the battery. So what I'm gonna do, is move the slide over this metal clip right here, and then pull it up. It's just that simple. And underneath here, that's where you're going to have the RAM. I had a RAM in there before, but I'm going to replace it with 32 GBs of RAM. Let me get this one out of here. So this was 16. So I'm going to put it right here, the Samsung one right here. So I'm just going to sell it in this slot. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. Just boom, put it back in. And all you got to do is connect the battery back in its place. And it's very, very simple. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy up and then fire it up and see what we get. Now we're going to fire up this laptop. But before you fire it up, you got to connect the power source onto this laptop or else it won't turn on at all. So if you exchange your RAM or put a new RAM in there and it won't turn on, chances are that these laptops would not power on unless you get some power source or some juice to it. So you got to connect the power adapter or the cord to it and then now you can turn it on. So let me see if it's fired up. All right, this laptop take a few moments to turn on. It probably takes like a couple seconds. Well, I'll say probably about 20, 30 seconds. So if you take that long, don't be alarmed. It, it's not broken. You just got to be patient for a little bit. Now let's go right here to see that everything's working perfectly fine. Or oh, we got the right amount of RAM. And you can tell already it's very snappy. If you're going to check it out. Oh, damn, this fast. Let's go to Task Manager. I'm going to go right here into, the, into Performance. So if you go right here to Memory, you see right here in the corner, it says 48, 48 GBs. And it tells you right here the speed, slot use 2 of 2, sodium, speed 4800. And this thing looks pretty decent already. Ah, uh, I did not fire up any game, but so far it works. And that's how simple it is. And I can tell right off the jump, this thing is screaming fast already. This laptop is, has got a breath of fresh air since I put this additional 32 GBs of RAM in there. So that's how you install a RAM inside the Asus Zephyrus G14 gaming laptop. Thanks for watching.